Hi, Heather. Hi. Good to see you again. Um, been about a year since our last assessment, so I want to go ahead and do another one. Um, and I appreciate uh, you making the time for this in your home. Um, just makes it easier for me to drop in on multiple clients. Um, so any changes since the last time I saw you? Any significant medical history changes? No. All right. So you were pretty healthy the last time uh, we had the visit. Um, just a little bit of allergies as far as I can recall. Does that still happen occasionally? Yeah, a little bit here okay. and there. Manageable though? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm going to just go from head to toe, um, sort of focusing on the systems uh, as I do that. So starting out with the scalp, uh, is it okay if I touch you? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I'm going to put some gloves on, just look through the scalp. Start out on your scalp here in a few places. Looking especially for any dryness, irritation. Any itching or pain on the scalp? No. Looks really healthy. The hair is nice and thick. Any pain when I touch you here? No, I'm good. Okay. Just gonna go in the back here. Tell me if anything hurts. Is that all okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. I'm just going to take a look at the other side. And just palpating the skull here. All right, that looks fine. Okay. Using my magnifying lens, I'm just gonna be looking at the skin itself. Um, I'll start out in the face. Just close your eyes for me because there is a bright light here. I do see that you have some makeup on, but otherwise the skin is really clear. A couple of freckles, but I believe we noted them from last time. Just a look. And you really don't have any problem with acne or blemishes, correct? No, a little here and there, nothing major. That's lucky. Okay. Maybe no excessive hair, no bruising, just feeling for any swelling of the face. Does anything hurt here? No. Okay. I press a little bit harder right here. Any pain in the sinuses? No. Okay, so those allergies are under control right now. Okay, I'm just gonna be feeling the jaw. Could you open and close for me? Close and one more time. A little clicking there, is that normal for you? Yeah, I think so. Okay, can you clench your teeth? One more time. Good, relax. Feel the lymph nodes. Coming around the front here. You swallow for me. Got no enlargement there. So continuing the skin exam, I'm just gonna be looking at the body. There's just one freckle, maybe one centimeter, not even. There's no change in that, though, right? No, I don't think so. Okay. It's nice and flat. 
everything else I would categories as minuscule. distribution nice and even there's a scar right there is that cat recent related. cat related yeah it's been a few years though so. okay well that was a very naughty kitty <laughs> and the nails look good you do have some <clears throat> polish on so I'm just gonna test cat we fell down below here okay really brisk look at the other side just relax Also, first on that side, checking the skin trigger here. And it returns right away, so you're well hydrated, which is good. Okay. Just gonna be palpating the arms here. It's really for muscle tone, so let me make some movements for you. Just go relax completely, don't assist me. There you go. Shoulder joint, any joint pain, clicking, discomfort. Good. Just gonna remove this. Let me make some motions for me. So I want you to go like this and hold it there. Don't. Good. And pull. Okay. Um, up like this. Hold it there. Just checking the shoulder strength. Very good. Just your hand now. Just relax the arm. Just the hand. Can you go? Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. And push me away with just the hand. There you go. And pull me towards you with just the hand. Good, nice strength. Open the fingers wide here. Keep them open. Okay. I'm going to have you go side to side and against my resistance. Checking reflexes in this arm. Again, completely relax. Give me all your weight. All of it. Reflexes are great. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to be checking. Um, you can actually stay right there. I'll come around. Okay, perfect. Again, just feeling for any pain, tenderness. I'm going to make some motions. Just relax. for any crepitus, but there's no clicking or popping, so that's really good. All right, again, make those motions for me up like this. Strong, pull back, very good. Up the shoulder, up, good. The hand now, just the hand, pull back. There you go. Fingers open, nice and wide. So hand strength, I would say, is more of a four out of five versus five out of five. But other mm -hmm. than that, that could just be that um, if you didn't play piano as a child, maybe you don't have a lot, a lot of finger strength. But so, one right. well, back here, I'm just gonna feel the shoulder. Just a couple of lymph nodes as well, but I'll check on the other side too. Give me all your weight. Clench your teeth. One, two, three, clench. A little bit. There you go. All right, I'm gonna remove my glove now, gloves now because I did do a relatively thorough check and there's no open wounds or anything there on the skin that could be a problem. Um, and I want to check for temperature. I can do that better with my bare hands. Okay. Right, so I'm feeling for consistency and temperature. It is warm and dry to touch. The hands are nice and warm. There's not excessive cooling. Any problems with tingling in the hands at all? Mm -hmm. Quickly just do this for me. Does that cause you any pain? No. What if I tap like that? 
inverse. Same thing, no tingling pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, relax. And feeling the temperature on this side. And again, same warm, dry to touch. Hands feel warm, um, so circulation doesn't seem to be an issue. Um, I'm gonna take some measurements. Okay. So primarily of the head and face. Okay. Just have you close your eyes so I don't accidentally poke you with the measuring tape. We're just looking for the general circumference. Keep a track of any swelling or changes in the head. Could, could indicate something more serious, but I'm pretty sure that there's nothing going on. Let's go around. And this is uh, looking at the different sections of the arm and just the um, comparison of the sections for symmetry. Again, not, nothing, doesn't matter how long the arm is, as long as it's um, the same perspective as the rest of the body. And I think that looks normal to me. So I'm gonna move on to your eyes now, do some of the cranial nerves. Um, so if you just look straight ahead for me, right over there, okay. I'm gonna shine a light and it's gonna be quite bright, so I do apologize. I want to check for the pupillary reactions. Blink back into normalcy. Shine that right in the middle there. Getting that reflex in the same place. Um, checking the pupil size now. Size two to three, which is perfect for the amount of light in the room. Can you see this clearly right here? Mm -hmm. Any double vision? No. Okay. Without moving your head, just your eyes, I want you to follow it everywhere it goes. Okay. And I want you to tell me if it goes blurry or double vision or disappears at all. No? It's okay? I don't, I don't think so. Okay, good. Again, stare back at that wall for me. Ignore my pen. Now look at the pen. Good. And back at the wall. Good. So the pupils respond normally to that as well. So I just have my otoscope here, and I want to take a look at the back of the eye. Okay, so again, look straight ahead and ignore me. I'm going to come in from the side. And do you see that red reflex? Same thing over here. Good. The veins look great in the back of the eye. Do you wear corrective lenses at all? I can't remember. No, that's right. Very healthy. Perfect vision. Perfect. Oh, that's great. I'm also uh, the same. Um, but as we get older, we shouldn't talk too big, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to take a look up into the nose. Any issues with um, smell or occlusion of the nostrils? No, so. Okay, can you just cover one for yourself and breathe in? And the other one? Breathe in. No problems there? Okay, just tilt back a little. Yeah, it looks nice and clear. It's got no redness or anything like that. Open the mouth and say, ah. Oh, uh, your rises, uh, teeth look good. Uh, going to the dentist every six months or so, or so, or so. <laughs> okay, close enough. Maybe. Any any major dental work in the past year that you've needed to do? Yeah. Okay, you can push your tongue into my finger here. Good strength, and here, lift your eyebrows up for me, and um, smile nice and big, and frown. Can you puff your cheeks out? Good, hold them there. Right. Good symmetry, good strength of the face, so that's all normal. Um, you tilt your head into my hand here with the neck. Yeah, there you go. And to the side. To the other side. Okay. And shrug your shoulders. Nice and strong. Good. Um, so that's all fine as far as the cranial nerves of the face. Uh, I just want to do a bit of a hearing test. And you said no changes to your taste as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so we won't bother testing that today since it's always been normal for you. 
Um, so with the ears, let me take a look first. And we'll do a little bit of a t hearing test. Okay. Just turn that way for me, please. We do have a few piercings here. Mm -hmm. Any pain there? Mm -mm. They're well healed. Yeah, they're very old. Any pain here? No. Okay. Ears are very clear. Do you use Q-tips ever? Maybe. Yeah, it's a little red on the inside. There's no wax buildup, which is, you know, nice to see, but at the same time, if it's uh, at the expense of using ear Q-tips. Um, just make sure you're not pushing them in too far. Uh, if it starts to hurt or if you're irritated, take a break, okay? okay. Checking the other side. Right there. Okay. Same thing on this side again, just a little bit of redness, um, no buildup. So if you're not having any problems, you know, I can't advise you to use Q-tips, but I understand that you can feel good. Um, close your eyes. Tell me, do you hear this sound? Yes. Tell me when it goes away. It's gone. Okay. Something on this side. Do you hear this sound? Mm-hmm. Tell me when it goes away. It's gone. I've got a little puff of air. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to tell me which side you hear it on, okay? Right. Left. Left. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. Right. Right. Left. Okay. Hearing is very good. Yeah, this food and pork, I'm just going to place it on the uh, back of your ear here. Mm -hmm. Tell me, do you hear that? I do. Tell me when it goes away. It's gone. Okay. Can you still hear it there? Yeah. Good. So hair is better than bone. This side. Tell me when it goes away. It's gone. You hear it still? Mm -hmm. Okay, so same thing on that side. As long as I have this, we'll do a little bit of sensation. You've never had any issues with um, sensory or, or drooping of the face or tingling, anything like that. Okay. okay. So close your eyes. Tell me when you feel something touch you. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Okay, move down the way. Feel it. 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 Lay your hands up for me, please. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Good. Does this feel the same as this? That was, uh, the right one was sharper. Right was What about this and this? Does that feel the same? They feel the same. Okay. This one and this one. Yes. Feels the same here and here? Yes. What about here and here? This right one was sharper. Right one was sharper. Okay. What about here and here? The right one was sharper. Okay. So and that's more. intact as well. Okay. You can open your eyes. Um, I'm going to move down to do a few neuro neurolog more neurological uh, tests. So can you just make some motions with your hands like that? You can go as fast as you can. Very good. And smacking on the legs. Go a little faster. All right, very good. I want you to touch your nose with your index finger and then touch my finger and follow it everywhere it goes. Okay, and the other side. Okay, good perception there. It's okay to miss it a little. You're able to follow it pretty generally. Um, close your eyes and do the same thing, just touching your own nose. Okay, that's very good. Keep your eyes closed, put your arms up like this. Okay, keep them there, flip them over. Close your eyes, just keep them steady even when I touch you. Okay, and relax. 
I'm going to be placing an object in your hand. So again, close your eyes and I want you to tell me what it is. So this hand, please. Tell me what you feel. Feel around for it. Give me a general sense of what it is. A little brush. A little comb. Yep, that's perfect. You're able to feel the bristles, everything like that. Keeping the eyes closed, tell me what general object this feels like, just with this hand. A pen? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to be drawing a number in your hand. Okay. Tell me what you feel. Okay. Three. Okay, and what about um, this one? Could you do that one more time? Mm-hmm. One. Mm-hmm. Add those together for me. Four. Okay. On this hand, I'm going to be uh, drawing a letter, okay. and it's going to spell out a word. So, one letter at a time. Okay. What letter is that? C. Do that again? Mm-hmm. A. And final letter? T. And what does that spell? Cat. Okay, and is this a cat? This is a cat. This is a cat. Perfect. So neurologically, uh, you're very sound of mind. Not only can you recognize letters and uh, the meaning of those letters, but you can recognize the object as well that it represents. So thank you to Eamon for uh, helping out with the neurological exam today. I'm going to finish up um, just by testing uh, the lower body now, okay? Okay. So I will have you uh, lay down for this. Okay. So uh, while you're laying down, I'm going to be palpating the stomach and taking a listen to it as well. Uh, so I'll first start with a listen. So I've got my stethoscope here. issues with the stomach lately? Anything new? No. Okay. Okay. I'm tap just a little here. I'm just listening for the sound. I'm feeling a little deeper now. If there's any discomfort, please let me know. Okay. Any of that painful? Mm -mm. Would you lift this arm up for me? I'm just going to feel a kidney underneath here. Okay, and down. Okay, any pain there? No. All right. Uh, listen to the heart while I'm here as well. So just breathe normally for me. I want you to take two deep breaths, one here and out, and one here and out. One more, in and out. Okay, that sounds clear to me. No problems with breathing along the shoes. All right. I'm gonna move down to your lower body now, um, and I just want to be feeling the legs and for any issues. Any pain in the knees? Okay, uncross your legs for me. You push up with this one, nice and strong. Good, and this side. Okay, just looking at the skin on the legs. And nice and even. Good, okay. It's fine, you really have no blemishes on the legs as well. Um, can you put your legs up like this? Yeah, exactly. And push me away. Yep, and pull me towards you. Relax this one, push me away, pull me towards you, good strength. Keep that up there, I'm going to do a reflex. So I'm just going to have it tilt to the side here and relax. Good, I'm going to scrape the bottom of the foot. Perfect, relax that. Just to the side. Okay, scraping the bottom of the foot. Give me all your weight. Completely collapse on me. There we go. Same thing on this side. There we go. All right. Um, go ahead and sit up, and we'll just finish off with your vitals today. Do you have an arm preference for your... Okay. So 
I'll just put the blood pressure cuff on the side then. And you will feel the cuff get a little bit tight. If it's too unbearable, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just be listening for the pressure. Pressure's on the lower side. Is that typical for you? It's about 108 over 62? Yeah. Okay. Very healthy blood pressure. Just if you're, t if you're used to having high blood pressure, it could be indication of something problematic. If that's normal for you, that's very healthy. Take your temperature. Okay, 98.6, perfect, bang on the dot. Um, and then I'm just going to feel the pulses. Okay, so first in the neck, just breathe normally. Arms. Okay. Just behind the knees as well. Thank you. All right. Well, Heather, everything seems to be normal as usual. Um, great to just get checked for that yearly exam, um, but you seem to be in great physical health right now, which I'm really glad to hear. Um, any other concerns or complaints before we end today's visit? No, I think I'm okay. Okay. Well, uh, as always, lovely to see you, and I'll see you in about a year as well. Thank you. Thank you.